All right, see you in a, see you in a bit. All right guys, so I just got to my gym. I'm now living in Vegas. I am actually training at City Athletic Club right over here. It's really nice inside. And yeah, so I thought I would go through and just take you through one of my favorite workouts. I'm gonna be training legs, isolated glutes. Um, basically, I train legs somewhere between two to three times a week on a good week. It's on a bad week, I don't even get to it more than once. Um, but yeah, I usually train lower body as much as I can. Um, obviously allowing for a couple days of recovery. So I just want to take, through, take you through one of my workouts. Um, I think it's long overdue at this point for YouTube. And uh, go ahead and show you guys what I do, how I train. Let's go. First thing first, look at her. She's too short. Short girl problems, what are you, five foot five? Alright. Struggle bus number one. really burn but I'm going up and weight every single set okay so I just finished that first workout which is stopping those squats I went up and weight about 10 pounds on each side each set. Sorry, I'm out of breath. And uh, now I'm going to move on to the next workout. I would probably do some type of split squat, uh, weighted jumping lunge, or split lunge. So I'm going to show you guys a variation of that right now. Targeting the glute at the very bottom of the contraction. Going slow and controlled so that you can actually pull the weight up with your glute. Not with your leg, not with your quad, not with your hammy, but with the glute. And not with your arms if you're holding the weight in your arms. Struggling already at the weight, stay there or go down. 
always tr start lighter than you think you can to warm up, way lighter than you think you can, and you can go up after that. So if it's super light, whereas the first set you couldn't even feel, then don't count that as your first set, just count that as a warm up set. Your first set, set you should have a little bit of struggle, and then go up from there. So if you wanna regress this workout to an easier workout, lower the weight or go down to a body weight and just insert little hops so you're kind of getting this jump up effect still with a split squat form and if you want to make it even more challenging continue the weight and you insert a hop with the weight so it's a weighted jumping split squat or weighting jump it's jumping lunge which is killer you have to master the form first and the balance but those will actually help grow your glutes so fast because it's fast pitch muscle fibers and it grows glutes fast, kind of like a sprinter. So you'll get results really fast. So for the next workout, I'm gonna do hip thrusters. Typically, you could do double-legged hip thrusters or a regular hip thruster. If you, wanna, if you don't know how to do this, I'm gonna show you how. I've done it a million times on my Instagram, my Instagram page. But I'm gonna show you guys the way to do hip thruster. Slow and controlled, use the glutes, don't use your lower back. Um, and I'm gonna show you the more advanced movement, which I do for advanced glutes, advanced training, to really isolate the glute. It is to do single-legged hip thruster, and you're gonna go slow, controlled, and heavy. Work your way up to a heavier and heavier uh, barbell across your lap, and I'll go ahead and show you guys how to do it. This is the most effective way i found for building and isolating just the glutes so you don't get anything else involved, your low back or your hams. So take a look. Yeah, Dr. Machine, I'll show you that as well. So we want to work the outer glute as well. tension on the glute the whole time. This really helps to build like more fullness and uh, instead of just targeting one small little area, you can target like the whole side of the glute. 
So the same concept on the adductor machine uh, to work both glutes at the same time and really slow and controlled. You can go up and wait a lot easier in this one. Um, but you only get the side to side movement, you don't really get the up, upper lift movement. So uh, let's do it. Okay, this next workout you can do with a uh, assisted pull-up machine where you use it as a step down, alternating each leg, or you can use this um, leg press machine and you can alternate step through that way. So it's a different angle. The other one obviously with the assisted pull-up machine you can have uh, against gravity here. Um, I'm just pushing forward, but I'll show you how to do both of these workouts. So this isolates, um, if you push through the heel, um, middle to the top of the sled, so like right around here, here, here. Um, you push through that and push through your heel. Slow and controlled, you'll feel the glute contract. And the top of the uh, movement, the top half of the rep is the glute. And uh, yeah, so I'll show you guys how to do it. session for me I typically do four to six workouts for the glutes on a leg day um, so all of those workouts I showed you I would do five to six of those workouts so I do a couple of the variations um, and yeah that's my lower body workout like I said I do legs or glutes twice a week if I can um, but no more than twice or three times a week I always let the legs and glutes rest for two to three days so if you guys like this video, please comment below what else you would like to see on my channel. I definitely want to do a lot more fitness video content. Please subscribe to my channel because I'll be posting weekly videos and weekly content. And uh, yeah, thumbs up for this. Comment below what you'd like to see. And I'll see you guys real soon.